Good morning, miners. She's Sophie. She's Sophie Serrano. And I'm Sophie Serrano, and she's Miley Deloyo. Today is Monday, April 1st, or April 11th, and this is Minor Morning TV. <laughs> Today's schedule is period 1, 2, brunch, 3, 4, lunch, 5, and 6. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. The I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Open house is quickly approaching. Open house is quickly approaching, and this year, once again, we are bringing back the popular color run. This fuck... This fun color run will take place at 5.30 on April 26th, right before open house. All Placerita students and their siblings are invited to participate in this event. As you run or walk through this course, you will get doused with water and soaked in color. If you would like to participate in this year's color run, you must complete a registration form and submit it to Miss Murray in the front office with your $10 payment by lunch on April 19th. We will be selling tickets the day of the event on on the first come first serve basis, but the cost will increase to fifteen dollars per person, and we cannot guarantee a spot on the Color Run race kits. The Color Run race kits are limited, so sign up today so you won't miss out on the fun. Registration forms can be found on the Placerita ASB webpage, the front office, or you can ask your first period teachers. Welcome back from spring break, miners. Let's see whose birthdays we get to celebrate as we return from our break. Roll the video. Attention 7th graders, are you interested in applying to be a part of ASB next year? The applications are now posted on the Placerita webpage. Just go to the Students tab, then click Clubs and Activities. Then you will see the ASB page. All the information you need in the applications can be found there. Applications are due by April 27th by 3 p.m., so don't delay. Get your applications in now. If you have any questions, see Ms. Schultz in the these last eight weeks of school are going to feel like they're flying by, and there's so much fun in store before we end another awesome year at school. This Friday is the first annual Placerita Olympics, the food relay race. We can't wait to see everyone cheering for your teams. The Olympic champions will earn a team party that you won't want to miss. So which teams plan to bring the gold this year? Here's a video on how this Friday's food relay, relay race is going to go down. And now The first activity in the Olympics is the food relay race. So imagine if pace setters and excellence both have food. After they finish eating all of their food, they go run up and tap their teammates. After their teammates finishes all of their food, then they run up and tap their teammates and so on. Make sure to finish all the food on your plate or bowl. And make sure if you have any allergies that you do not participate in this event. After, we will have an egg on a spoon race, which your whole team will participate in. This is how it works. One teammate will walk the egg over to the other teammate and try to pass it without falling. Then, the other teammate will turn around and try to... If you drop it, like I just have, you have to run back 
get a new one. And remember, any cheating will get you eliminated. And now over to Mr. Turner. Good morning, miners. My name is Miley Serrano and I'm, re wait, was that today? No, that's not today. Okay, take two. <clears throat> Good morning, miners. I hope you had a great spring break. That was a great spring break for all of you I know. First of all, a lot of you travel to a lot of different places. And the biggest thing I think is that we had, hopefully you had a lot of fun this time for spring break. Well, as you've already heard from both Miley and everybody else, this is going to be fast the last eight weeks. We only have three weeks in April, and we have four weeks in May, and then we also have a short week at the end. So before you know it, summer is going to be here. So I have two of our minor pride letters that I want you to think about for this week. Number one the R for responsibility, and number two, the D for determination. Just a little R&D this morning. First of all, we have a lot of things happening with academics. There's a lot of English work, math work, science work, social studies work, and there's a lot of very fun things you're gonna do in your electives as well between now and the end of the year. So, be responsible. Make sure you don't miss out on your homework. Make sure you stay up and don't get behind because especially you eighth graders this is a time where you get to practice for being in high school because in case i haven't told you before in high school grades are money the better your grades the more money you might get to go to college so don't forget that right now if you haven't practiced that so far right now is the time to do that so make sure that you are thinking about being responsible for your grades. And I'm sure your teachers will appreciate that. And then finally, I know it's hard. It's been a long year. But determination is very important. Don't give up. Hang in there. And make sure that you are doing your best in whatever you do. Also, one final note. I think someone has spotted some uh, confetti eggs floating around. Um, Please be careful with those. You shouldn't have those at school because if you get caught with them, or I should say when you get caught with them, you're going to have a lot of fun cleaning it all up. And you might even get to stay after school and clean up some other things as well too. So be smart. If you brought them, keep them in your backpack and then take them home. Okay, thank you very much. All right, back to those in the studio. Hey Miners, did you know that Placerita is the only school in the district that has their very own dance studio on campus? Students work on flexibility, technique, rhythm, coordination, vocabulary, dance, history, and performance. Each spring, the students demonstrate their knowledge and skills by putting on a dance show at Hart Auditorium. It's been two years since Placerita Dance has been able to perform on Hart Stage. We are very excited to invite you to Dancing the Night Away 2022 this Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Tickets are $8 and you can purchase them in the quad during brunch. If you can purchase them at brunch, you might not need to purchase them at the box office the evening of the show. Come out and support your friends in Placerie to Dance. Just a reminder, all Kid Flix members, there was a Kid Flix meeting after school today. Every day at Placerie is a holiday. Today is Cheese Fondue Day. That's all for us today. She's Sophie Serrano. And she's Miley DeLoyo. Have a Monday, miners.